Okay, now we're going to look at the surface area for block work. Now, in order to do that, we're just going to have to look at the four main uh, sizes of different blocks. Now, the first ones um, that we all see are, um, uh, again, the standard size. Now, the, these are the same for um, aircrete blocks and concrete blocks. So we have our standard block, uh, and this... Um, for our uh, calculations, we uh, are going to include the 10mm mortar joint. Um, so the standard block with a mortar joint is going to be 225, and the length of it will be 450. Uh, the blocks are always, uh, in this, what we're going to be doing here, going to be 100mm, but um, we have to realise that you can get blocks that are 140s, 150s and 215s as well. Um, so, but again for um, any calculation for block work it's just the surface uh, area that we need. Uh, later on when we come to do the mortar then obviously we would have to include for any extra thickness of this block. But uh, just for um, working at the surface area we just need to have the actual uh, front face of the block uh, with the two dimensions. Uh, so the standard block, as we just said, is 450 long by 225 high with the joints. Uh, then you have the standard plus, which uh, is a very common block nowadays. Uh, standard plus. And these are with a joint, uh, these are 610, but with a joint they're going to be 620 long. And again they're going to be 225 tall. Okay, so these ones are like the standard blocks that we use with mortar. Now, the other type of blocks that we use are the large format. Don't see these ones used quite as much. And the Jumbo Plus. And out of all of the ones that we've seen, the Jumbo Plus is the one that I prefer. Um, these two are specifically used for thin joint system and again that for me is uh, uh, the only way to do block work. Uh, again sometimes we do have to uh, do uh, traditional methods with mortar but um, again for uh, other reasons which we'll go to into um, in other lessons and videos uh, we will talk about thin joint system a lot more there. So with the large format, they're virtually square, but uh, not quite. They're 450 um, long, uh, but with a joint, we're looking at a 2 to 3 mil joint. So we'll go for the 3mm the joint. So they're going to be 553 um, long, and they're 440 high. So again, we're going to be looking at 443 in height. Uh, the Jumbo Plus, uh, these are again are another 610 um, block, so with the joint they're going to be 613 and the height uh, they're 270 high so not a normal standard size corsable block um, they're 270 uh, so with the joint that we're going to have in the thin joint they'll be 273 ok so what we really need to do is to go back to our first ones and we just want to do the same as what we did with uh, brickwork. We want to be able to determine how many blocks we need per square meter because, again, when we do surface area, we're always finding out what the, the meterage of the wall is. And with bricks, if it's a stretcher bond, we have learned that that's going to be 60 bricks for every square meter. Um, so what we want to do now is, if we're doing cavity walls, is to be able to determine how many blocks we need. So. Uh, for that you can see that the square meterage will differ with all of these blocks. So we're just going to work out on each of these uh, how many blocks uh, we would need for each meter. So the way that I do that, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but the way that I like to do this is to just multiply these two together and again remember to do everything in meters. So where we have 450 when we look at that, that's 450 millimetres. When we look at that in terms of a metre, that is 0.45. So the height will be 0.225. So that will bring us to a, an answer 
in meters squared. So if we uh, just look at this one first of all, 0.45 multiplied by 0.225 equals, and we can see that a block is, I'm going to write it just in the corner here, or at the top here, 0 0.101 meters squared. That is one block. Okay, so the way that I do this, I will say 1 divided by that figure that we've just got, because 1 just represents our meter square. So we've got a square meter, and this is how I do this. So I just get rid of that. 1 for my square meter, divided by what we've worked out each block is going to be, which is going to be 1 and 1. And we can see straight away that when we did equals, we've got 9.9. .9. So we always say with a standard block, 9.9, um, .9, obviously we're going to say 10 blocks per meter squared. So 10 per meter squared, underlined. Right, so if we do that, same principles with the standard plus, we're going to be looking at, again, just put the point 0 to get it into meters. And we're going to be looking at 0.62 multiplied by 0.225. And we're going to say that is 0 0.13, well, 0 0.14 really, because that's um, 9.5 at the end of it. So again, I'm going to have 1 divided by 0 0.14 equals. We just get back to there. 1 divided by 0 0.14 equals. We can see for these ones we need 7 uh, per meter squared. Underlined. Okay, so that is how many we need for uh, the blocks of mortar. Um, I will just keep this one here because again this one we don't really have to do a calculation on it because we do the same principles but we can see that this is virtually uh, twice the size of this one so we know the large format we're going to be looking at five blocks per meter squared underlined. So the Jumbo Plus we just want to have a quick look at this one so Jumbo Plus is going to be point uh, 613 multiplied by 0.273 equals. So we have a figure there of 0 0.167. So 1 divided by 0 0.167 equals 1 divided by 0 0.167 equals. We have uh, 5.98, so that's going to be 6. 6 per meter squared. So when you look at your drawing to find out what blocks you're going to be using and uh, determine uh, uh, the, how many you're going to need, obviously you would um, work to one of these figures. In the next video we will have an example. We'll do uh, like a little cavity wall. We'll quickly work out the bricks and then we will work out the blocks as well. Okay.